I can't even remember what I'm saying. Hold on. I'm good. I'm good. What's good? This is Aiden Carroll, show and tell. I'm a producer, musician, artist, songwriter. Originally from Oklahoma City, lived in New York for 11 years, now I'm based in LA. This right here is a bass. I'm a bass player, it's my first instrument. This is my first custom five string bass. The reason I brought this is because it's taken me around the world. I've been Japan, New Zealand, all over the States, Europe with it, played lots of shows, it means a lot. It's very warm and worn in bass. And I chose the colors too. I wanted it to be a little flashy. I think at one time I called it Excalibur. So that's, uh, that's my only name. So this right here is a Gibson Les Paul. Handed down to me from my, my dad, rest in peace. It's a 1968 gold top, vintage, badass guitar. It's the only electric guitar I own. I've used it on tons of productions, my own music. I'm not really a guitar player, but I've become one out of necessity, and I like it too. Um, it's, uh, it's just got a very classic sound. If you know me, I have a jazz background. I'm traditionally trained to play jazz. It sounds really funny. I listened to a lot of Coltrane in high school, and this record in particular, not everybody might know, but it's his classic quartet, the same band on the Love Supreme. Man, I just wore this out. So I brought the vinyl with me out of this world, especially the first track. Love it. The whole thing is um, super soulful. If you haven't heard it, definitely. kind of a two for one. But this is my St. Christopher chain. It was also from my dad. And I basically wear it anytime I play or go out or have something to do. St. Christopher is patron saint of travel and protecting, protecting people, protecting them. So I wear it when I travel too. Um, and as well, this ring, not the gold one, but the turquoise, he made this. So I also always wear this just in his memory, in his honor. Both of these are super meaningful. Dad was a big influence on me. He's like, he's like everything. He was an architect, he was a priest, he was a psychologist, he was a musician. So I get a lot of my kind of Renaissance interest from him. So, pops. I'm in like the fourth phase of my life. Who knows, there'll probably be nine phases, I'm not sure, but mostly was a musician, playing in bands, playing as a bass player for many, many years. You know, started on drums, moved to the bass, also played some keys along the way, still do. But I landed at wanting to be a producer. I've been influenced by a lot of different producers. One of my favorites is Timbaland. I get to work in R&B a lot these days, so he's definitely one of my major go-tos when I need some inspiration. But this is a great biography. It's super inspiring to me, just in terms of how hard he worked and all the hours in the basement with Devante and Genuine and, and his relationship with Missy Elliott and just the way he hears sound. So this book has been a you know, inspiration for me. This is my plug. Aiden Carroll Music on Instagram, follow me. I got a music video on the way and my first ever merch drop. It might be a hat. I'll just say that. So definitely keep up with me. And um, there's a lot of production that I'm involved in. Reggie Beckton, I have to shout out because he recommended me for this. One of my favorite people and artists to work with. He's got an amazing album on the way. Um, a lot of other things I probably shouldn't say yet, but just stay tuned and check out the music. Thanks for tuning in to another episode of Show and Tell. Shout out to DP Rick, Video Productions, and everybody involved. This has been amazing.